You want me to put that on my todger? Harry's wife, the ship, is sinking. Yes, HMS Sussex, or SS Sussex, depending on how you want to name it, is sinking. Harry's wife has caused her own ship to sink. And this is invariably the case with many narcissists, that essentially their narcissism overreaches. And as I have told you before, with her narcissism, it enabled her to get into the position she finds herself, but it wasn't able to keep her in a stable position. A different type of narcissist would have remained within the royal family, trading off that, utilising the fame, being well known, being involved in service. But for her, her narcissism saw service as a threat to control. It decided that instead, having now become famous on a world scale as a consequence of the marriage, that fame should then be used to become an even bigger celebrity. Service was not for her. Her narcissism decided that's a shackle upon us. It's a fetter on our ability to control. We're much better served by harnessing this fame that we've achieved through marriage and monetizing it. And thus it caused her to seek to do that. If she had some innate talent, it might have been the case that her and Ginger Bollocks could well have stepped away from the royal family and forged a new life, engaged in philanthropic activities, utilising some course of skill that they would have, where people would actually like them and say, fair play, you're not sponging off the royal family, you're not complaining about them, you're doing your own thing, all the best. But of course they didn't. And they didn't because her narcissism causes her to be entitled and because she has no skills that she can utilise. There's nothing there that she can trade on other than using the status that she's acquired by marriage and rolling out her victim mentality again and again and again. People have been racist towards me. Oh, but no, actually, no, they weren't. Complaining about her treatment from the press. Complaining about the way that people responded to her behaviour, completely failing, of course, to realise that it was her that caused the problem in the first place. Therefore, believing that everybody had it in for her, that people were cruel and unfair, and therefore, because she needs to nullify the threat to control posed by that, she not only has to put that narrative out there, she seeks to monetize it as well, believing that people would find it interesting. The only reason people find it interesting is to shake their heads at her self-indulgent behaviour, bar a small number of diluted sugars. But now the ship is sinking. Because failing to stay with the royal family and setting course for new seas hasn't worked. Of course, they made big deals. And one might suggest that there has been a degree of success with regard to the number of people that have watched the Netflix series and the number of copies of Spare that have been sold. But it comes with a heavy cost. And the fact is, their, sink is now, their ship is now sinking as a consequence of the way that she has behaved. Look at all of the torpedoes that have hit the Sussex ship recently. With spare, all those humiliating disclosures which have made Harry and her, by extension, a laughing stock. People didn't think, oh, that's relatable. Instead, they thought, we didn't really want to know about a frostbitten and penis or rubbing cream into his cock whilst thinking about his mum. We weren't interested in the fact that he had sex with someone a couple of years older than him behind a pub when he lost his virginity. We're not the disclosures made about the Taliban and the observations there and so much more haven't made them relatable or caused people to think, ho, oh, oh, jolly japes, but rather have caused people to shake their heads in displeasure. The A-list don't want to know them. The Clooney's, silent. Oprah, nothing, being, nothing coming from her these days, is there? Yes, Ellen DeGeneres extended an invitation, but she's not exactly the most popular individual amongst the A-list these days, and therefore would be looking to corral 
favour from whoever she can herself. But the A-list don't want to know her. They keep their distance from her. The invitations to those events aren't forthcoming in the way that she believed that they would. The 40 by 40 initiative <laughs> went nowhere. Lunch with the senators didn't happen. Parental leave initiative, what's happened with that? Wasn't she going to Washington with Glow, with Gloria Steinem? That doesn't seem to have happened. All of those things triumphed, uh, held out triumphantly, haven't manifested. All torpedoes that have come back and hit their ship. The Obamas keep their distance, not wanting to have anything to do with them. She isn't making speeches to packed arenas. Instead, she bored the arse off people at Bridgewater Hall in Manchester and then turned up in November in Indianapolis. Netflix was well watched, but it resulted in it being panned, particularly her behaviours, her whinging, her fake tears, the curtsying incident which even drew the distasteful look from her own husband. With Harry, he's made his disclosure about drugs, about fighting with William and breaking his necklace, the Todger revelations, sex in a field, the Taliban as mentioned, all of those things have not given him a good look either. The, the rumours about her involvement with Gordon Getty and his family railing against her interaction with him. Tom Bauer continues to pop up, firing off his own howitzers towards them. And of course looking to make further details in additions to his existing book Revenge and potentially in further publications. The press are against them, utilising any opportunity to highlight their hypocrisies, their victim mentality and quite simply just taking the piss. Other than the supine publications, which only support them as a consequence of the money that's being paid to them, the press either ignores or laughs at them. Kate and William keep getting it right. They just get on with it, drawing admiration and praise, notwithstanding the attempts of the poisonous sugars to continue to throw pelters at them, they have showed how it's done, continuing to act in a manner which shows them to be a class act. The humiliation has been heaped on them. The South Park episode, the piss taken from Jimmy Kimmel, the vast amount of material that appears on social media, the, those laughing from Sky News Australia. All of these are in effect torpedoes which have been fired at the bad ship Sussex and have hold it below the line. And thus it has started to sink under its own hubris and the weight of its own self-indulgent narcissism. Of course, Harry's wife stands there on the bridge believing that she is chugging her way to even greater glory. Others have to deal with the fact that there is water spilling into the ship below. That is somebody else's fault and not hers. Given that the ship is sinking because so many things are going wrong for them, this means that she must fight against that repeatedly. And in part, that is why she has been less prominent as of late in terms of not actually doing anything, albeit still popping up in the press, as I have detailed. But now it's your turn. In light of all of this, with the ship sinking, what do you think that Harry's wife will do in response to all of these woes that are being experienced? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.